a young couple moved into a new neighborhood. One day while having breakfast, the young woman noticed that her neighbor is putting out freshly washed clothes for drying. She didn't wash it properly, she said. Maybe she doesn't know how to do it correctly or it could be her laundry detergent. Her husband looked on, remaining silent. Thereafter, every time she saw her neighbor put out wet clothes to dry, she used to pass the same comments. A month later, she was surprised to see a nice clean wash online and said to her husband, Look, she has finally learned how to do it correctly. I wonder who taught her. Her husband replied, I got up early this morning and I cleaned the windows. This is a story from Paulo Coelho's blog and is an apt description on how we judge others. Hi there, my name is Aparna. I am a certified coach and every week I bring to you tips, tricks, tools and hacks that can help you upskill your life. And if this interests you, do consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're there, do not forget to press the bell icon so you're notified every week when I post a new video. Just like that story I told you, it is the same with life as well. What we see when we are watching others depends on the clarity of window through which we are looking at. It also depends on the clarity of your thought and your character. But why do we judge others so easily? Perhaps it's part of our culture. Right from our childhood, we've been judged at and compared with. We are told that somebody else is better than us. Or we get a feeling that we are better than everyone else and that gives us the false sense of superiority. Another reason could be our self-esteem. Most of us don't know that we judge others because it works at a subconscious level. Another reason could be that we ourselves are looking to change something in our lives and when that starts working, we feel like we have now earned our right to pass judgments on others and how they are supposed to live or how they are supposed to be uh, you know, behaving and what is acceptable or what is not, so on. Know this, what we think about our own selves often manifests in how we behave with others. And so if my perspective of life is clouded with anger, jealousy, negativity or unfulfilled desires, then subconsciously I view the world through the same window. So what can we do about it? How can we stop our habit of judging others? It can be slightly complex, but you can start with trying these three things. Number one, catch yourself early. The moment you realize you're forming an opinion or beginning to pass a judgment on, of, on others, just stop and observe that thought. You can ask yourself this question, do I really need to decide on this now? It's a simple, clean question because basically judgments are decisions or opinions we form on others. And when you ask yourself this question, you are breaking that thought from going down further and most of the times the answer to that question is a no. Number two, switch it to positives which means that you basically frame a thought that is opposite of what your current existing thought is. Instead of passing judgments which usually are negative, say something nice. Praise them if needed and by doing so you're basically telling this to yourself, to your subconscious self. This also interrupts the familiar thought pattern and it serves as a reminder to us that we are all humans and all of us have both good as well as bad qualities. Number three, tap into that emotion. Remember how it felt when someone else passed a judgment on you? Did that hurt? Tap into this emotion so you can consciously avoid making the mistakes that others have done. That's it. Three simple steps. Number one, you catch yourself early before your judgment gets framed or passed in your own head. Number two, switch it to the opposites. Turn it around if the negatives into positives so that you can tell yourself something good about the other person. Number three, you tap into your own emotions so that you can understand how it feels when someone passes judgment on you so that you can avoid doing that. Remember, when we pass judgments, we are actually hurting others. We're also putting out a lot of negativity into the world and that eventually will never make you feel good. I'd like to end today with this quote. Judging others is easy. Deciding for others is also easy. But what is tough is to mold yourself without any flaws and to apply your own decisions on yourself. How do you feel when others pass judgment on you? Does it bother you? 
I'd love to hear your feedback on this topic and the three steps that I shared with you. Do let me know in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video resourceful, do hit the like button, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe and also hit a bell icon so you're notified every week when I post a new video. I'll see you next week with another compelling topic. Until then, take good care of yourself. Bye.